Coming up next on Behind the Badge, three MPD officers receive a hero award for saving the life of a baby. Pausing to honor those who gave the ultimate sacrifice. And law enforcement officers raising awareness for Special Olympics. Plus, high school students participate in the very first Teen Citizens Police Academy. Those stories and much more. Behind the Badge starts right now. Hello everyone, I'm Larry Flowers. Welcome to another edition of Behind the Badge, an inside look at news and newsmakers of the Murfreesboro Police Department. Not only do MPD officers serve and protect our community, but sometimes they are lifesavers as well. Case in point, when three officers helped to save the life of an infant. And for their heroic efforts, they were named as the 2022 NAACP Jerry Anderson Hero Award recipients. It was summer 2021, an EMS assist call at the Spring Valley Apartments. Officer Justin Fugate, Casey Fittler, and Seth Hansen were first on scene. The three of us were kind of close by. We were working that area that day, uh, so they had a lifeless infant. The baby boy was on the sofa, apparently choking after being fed. He was laying on his back, starting to turn blue. I immediately picked him up, cleared the airway, flipped him over, and started doing uh, CPR, try to get him to come back. The officers continued caring for the infant until help arrived. Two other officers here assisted me with kind of getting the family to so we could get Rutherford County Emergency Medical Services in as well as the fire department. They had to bring in all their equipment and we moved furniture, got everything out of the way, got the parents calmed down because they were hysterical. Obviously their child was going through a medical emergency. I would be too if I was a parent. Um, and we were able to successfully complete the mission and get the child back, back to life. Their action didn't go unnoticed. Because of their heroic efforts and saving the life of this infant, the Murfreesboro branch of the NAACP presents the Jerry Anderson Award to officers Fugate, Fiddler, and Hansen. The award is named in honor of Murfreesboro native and former NFL player Jerry Anderson, who lost his life in 1989 while trying to rescue two young boys from floodwaters. The officers say it's an honor to receive this award. It's a tremendous honor to be named somebody alongside him. Uh, he's definitely a hometown hero. I'm honored. Uh, I'm kind of speechless about it, to be quite frank. It's humbling to be mentioned in the same uh, category as someone like him. I mean, one of the, I think a lot of officers would agree, one of the best things we do in this job is help people. And I think saving the life is the ultimate version of helping somebody. In 2014, the Murfreesboro City Council voted to rename Community Circle in the Kimbrough Woods subdivision, Jerry Anderson Drive. During Peace Officer Memorial Week, MPD paused to honor those officers who lost their lives in the line of duty.
Lieutenant Justin Lemansky and Sergeant Robert Palmer traveled to the War Memorial in Washington, D.C. for the National Peace Officer Memorial Week. Several MPD officers participated in the 2022 Special Olympics Law Enforcement Torch Run and Olympic Games at MTSU back in May. Law enforcement officers, including Rutherford County Sheriff's deputies, carried the torch from the Murfreesboro Police Department headquarters to the track and field at MTSU. Officer Jeff Pulford and his horse Blue carried the Special Olympic law enforcement flag along the way. Several other MPD officers assisted special needs athletes during the Special Olympics track and field games. The mission of the Law Enforcement Torch Run is to raise awareness and funds for the Special Olympics movement. High school students now have the opportunity to learn how the Murfreesboro Police Department operates by taking part in our new Teen Citizens Police Academy. One of the goals is to spark interest in a future career in law enforcement. Teens from local high schools took part in the Murfreesboro Police Department's inaugural Teen Citizens Police Academy class. Our officers know what to be looking for. It was a six week behind the scenes look at the men and women of MPD and their day to day jobs from criminal investigations. Right. And it's really important that you stress to those witnesses the need for their assistance, for their help. To our canine units, from dogs looking for the bad guy. Show me your hands and we'll send his dog. To canines looking for missing adults and children. To those sniffing out drugs. Good boy. Oh, he's a good man. William Trexo's father is in law enforcement, and he didn't have a second thought about participating in the Teen Citizens Police Academy. I thought it would be a cool experience for me to do, um, further develop my leadership skills, both in knowledge of police work and outside of police work and what they do in their everyday, everyday job. The students also had an opportunity to work a mock crime scene, learning from crime scene technicians about evidence collecting, photography, and other important things to look out for. We got to work a mock crime scene and it was really informative. They showed us what to look for if we had a witness, what to ask, and also how to gather all of the information that we need from there. K-9 unit was very, um, very cool. Um, I really liked the crisis intervention when we talked about that. It was a little, um, on the not active side, but it, it intrigued me the most seeing kind of what goes through people's heads when it when they're in that crisis and what they do and how they respond um, tactically and both um, emotionally. Following too closely is one of the major contributing factors in most traffic crashes. Students also had a chance to learn the rules of the road thanks to the Tennessee Highway Patrol distracted driving trailer. Could you have merged in that left-hand line and gone around that obstacle? TCPA is an abbreviated version of the Adult Citizens Police Academy. Nonetheless, students received a wealth of knowledge. That Higgins' father is also in law enforcement. It's always been a career choice. My father is a policeman here, and that's how, so half the reason that I knew about it. If I did pursue a career choice, it'd probably be canine units because I love dogs and I love police work and two of those things together is really great. At the conclusion of the academy, a graduation was held honoring the students for their participation. Higgins and Truxo say they would recommend TCPA to other students. Oh, of course. It's one of the funnest things I've probably done in a while. I would recommend this because it is informative and it definitely opens up and it shows you about all of the options that they have here at the academy. <clears throat> TCPA is open to high school students ages 15 to 17 who live or attend a high school located inside the city limits of Murfreesboro. For more information about the Teen Citizens Police Academy, please visit our webpage www.murfreesborotn.gov forward slash police. Murfreesboro Police Department crime data analysts play a key role in helping to solve cases as well as digging up new information about cold cases. Lieutenant James Abbott had an opportunity to interview analyst Ashley Smith. So Ashley, I appreciate you uh, coming on this morning with us and, and discussing y'all's role in crime analysis and how it applies to using and working with cold case homicide investigations. Um, 
Before we start here, can you just kind of give us the, what is the role of a crime analyst at, within the Murfreesboro Police Department? The role of a crime analyst in the Murfreesboro Police Department is we kind of perform skilled administrative, strategic, and technical analysis. Uh, we collect data from our different databases at the police department. Uh, that includes calls for service and our field-based reporting software that we have. And then we also gather and analyze crime data for pattern detection, um, crime correlations, we help with target profiles, we help with directed patrol efforts, uh, so our main goal is just to kind of collect all of that data and be able to allocate resources throughout the city of Murfreesboro. Okay. And now, working these cold cases and these cold case homicide investigations, a lot of these uh, cases, you know, as you know, some of them may be a few years old, some of them may be 15, 20 years old. So uh, there's a lot of information there. You're, you're going through a lot of old information trying to find new information for us. Kind of describe a little bit what you all are looking at when you are analyzing a cold case and how that can assist the investigation division uh, the, and the detectives that who will be following up that, with that information. So as a crime data analyst, when we do analyze these cold cases, we first start out by becoming the subject matter expert or the SME. So we go through the case files, we review the interview notes, uh, watch any interview DVDs, um, cassettes, anything that's a little bit older we can do. We go through crime scene photos, um, detective notes, and what we do with those is we also look at incidents that have taken place beforehand. So if maybe there are some individuals in the current cold case that may have been involved in other cases, um, we go back and we make, we'd make sure if they're in our system in any way. And if we are, we make sure to annotate that, that hey, they're in this type of environment. Um, they've been related to this case and this case. So we make those connections. MPD now has four full-time crime data analysts. The Murfreesboro Emergency Communications Center is one of the first 911 centers in Tennessee to implement new innovative technology called QIT Power Engage to track citizen satisfaction and solicit feedback after a 911 call is made. The new technology uses text messaging to contact some 911 and non-emergency callers who have recently reported or been involved in certain types of crime. Here's a sample of some of those comments. QIT was implemented during the National Public Safety Telecommunicators Week, which was held April 10th through April 16th. Before we go, we want to send a few shout outs. A special shout out to Officer Jalen Davis, who assisted an elderly lady who called 911 to report her water wasn't working. Her water had been turned off for non-payment. Officer Davis and MFRD Captain David Bricker gave money to purchase water, food, and snacks for the woman. Mayor Shane McFarland presented them with the City's Stars Award for going above and beyond. A shout out to Officer Aaron Gonzalez, who noticed three children pointing at his patrol car in a neighborhood. He stopped and asked if they wanted to see the lights and hear the sirens. He even let them sit inside the police car. A retirement shout out to police evidence technician Don Brown, who retired after 21 years of service at the Murfreesboro Police Department. Sergeant Amy Ditton receives a shout out for taking part in the MTSU Criminal Justice Networking and Information Exchange Job Fair. She made contact with many students who were interested in joining MPD 
and the law enforcement profession. Shout outs go to Recruitment Sergeant Jason Higgins and Sergeant Robert Palmer, who visited the University of Southern Mississippi and Jackson State University recruiting potential officers. A special shout out to Murfreesboro Emergency Communications Center Communications Operation Coordinator Becky Green on being named Telecommunicator of the Year. A shout out goes to Lieutenant Gary Carter on his appointment to the Tennessee Peace Officer Standards and Training Commission or POST by Governor Bill Lee. The appointment runs through May 2023. A shout out to the administrative staff at MPD who work behind the scenes. They were recognized during the Administrative Professionals Day back in April. A shout out to all the officers and upper command staff who took part in the Law Enforcement Day at the Miracle Field of Murfreesboro. They assisted special needs athletes who are part of the Miracle Field Baseball League. A shout out to Forensic Services Unit Sergeant Katrina Henderson who assisted Girl Scout Troop 308 with earning their forensic badges. A congratulatory shout out to Special Victims Unit Detective Michael Yates for being honored as one of the Child Advocacy Center's 2022 Hometown Hero Award recipients. Yates and the SVU team work hard every day to protect children and victims of violence. Remember, we're here to serve and protect you. If you have any questions on the services the Murfreesboro Police Department offers, please give us a call at 615-849-2MPD. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time as we go Behind the Badge.